Hello, 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 and welcome to an episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I am the stickiest of men. And we're playing Madden 20 with them Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns, yeah, dude. Dude, we're playing the 11 and 1 Bucks, and we're 12 and 0. Yeah, man, because uh, you, you don't lose. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't no, know what to say that. I was like, <laughs> nobody's nobody's expecting straight. you to lose. <laughs> I didn't know losing was an option, to be honest. TNT. What do you want? Have you ever had a straight man, well, I assume straight man, sorry, what? compliment your looks? Where is this going? <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have, like... have you ever had like a guy be like, you're a nice looking dude? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> what the had... hell are you asking me? I'm just asking. I'm like lightweight offended right now. Why, why are you offended? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, you mean, I guess offended. he can even be a not straight dude. The reason I ask is I, uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm on some like online chats and some dude hit me up. At, he was like, hey, I got to tell you something, but you may take this the wrong way. And I'm like, oh, what's this dude about to say? So I'm like, he's like, can I message you? I'm like, yeah, send me a message, whatever. He Yo. goes, he's like, hey man, I'm not into dudes, but like, you're a pretty handsome guy. Just want to let you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Guess what? He's in the dude. Oh, right, right. But I was like, oh, well, thanks, man. Like, I appreciate that. Like, I was like, I was like, weird. I was like, I still feel flattered that somebody was like, oh, you a handsome? Guy. I don't care. If I've you. never in my life felt compelled to message a dude. <laughs> To DM a dude to let him know that he was handsome. <laughs> right? And that's why I was like... Look, okay, so let, let's let's put it out there. There's nothing wrong with him right. thinking that you're Oh, not. not at all. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with is him. It, is it a little odd in my mind? A little bit? Because he went, he went out of his way to say he was not... He, that dudes are ugly or something. Get, get a, look, okay, the only thing he may be suffering from, the only thing wrong with him is maybe a severe case of myopia. What's that? Eye disease, nearsightedness. Oh. Either way, he, I'm just saying that he he can't see very well. Oh, it's a very so it's, it's a very niche joke, Jonas. It's I got okay. It, it would be like an optometry joke. Yes, I so. got it. Now it's funny. Like he's suffering for. He's like, oh, this guy's cute. And you're like, your eyes don't work, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> I love it. Anyway, it was a great joke. I'm glad we explained it to everybody. So it helps. <laughs> But either way, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Right. But he needs to come to terms with it, because I guarantee you, if you're like, "Oh, yeah, you kind of, you kind of cute <laughs> yourself, dude," you should message him back. Message him back and say, "Yeah, you're kind of cute yourself." You're like, dude. you know, I was thinking about it. I usually don't think dudes are cute either, but I think you're pretty fly, homie. Yeah, you <laughs> just like that. You'd be like, "Yeah, man, you kind of good looking yourself, brother." You know, just get one of those. <laughs> you're like, "Hey, dude, you want like get coffee or something?" <laughs> No, I'm good. Why are you being good? I'm not interested in, in men. I'm not I just was like kind are. of flattered that dude. And it just goes to prove that guys don't ever get. Uh, so, like, we get a compliment from anyone. We're like, thank you. I was like, I thank you, sir. I'm like, I'm not into dudes, but thank you. They'd be like going out to the gay bar and having a, like a gay dude buy me a drink. I'd be like, I'm flattered. I'm not homosexual. But, like, thank you. I appreciate you buying me a drink. Yeah, you. Can, I'm good, man. Here, I'll probably pay pay him back. Give him. <laughs> You're like, here, here's five bucks, dude. Like, do you get him a drink back? Because then he's gonna like. Oh, because if not, then he's like, he's one up on you. <laughs> I don't want to like talk about him like he's like some animal in the wild. And I'm trying to figure out how to like approach an animal in uh, the wild or something. Yeah. But, yeah, it's this hypothetical person. I don't know. You would handle like. I guess you'd just be like, I'm, I'm straight. Yeah, I would probably literally say thank you, but like I. Like, I'm not interested in guys or something. Yeah. You know, or something like along those lines. Like, I'd be very respectful then, about it. Yeah, and then you, like, you can talk to him and stuff. Yeah, and he'd be like, hey, if you don't want to give me the drink because I'm not interested, I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? Like, he probably, oh, you can have it anyway. Wow. Is, now, hold on, Jonas. Is this a case of guys not knowing how to reject properly? Because we aren't usually in the driver's seat when it comes to that. Rejection? Oh, my God, dude. To it's, actually it's dishing not, out the rejection. It's not easy. No. It, it, it go, in turn comes with guys not getting enough compliments. I think that's where we should venture off in this episode. It's Between okay. guys not knowing to reject properly and guys not receiving compliments. Let's, let's just veer. Okay, if you want to just want to, I, I say that's a good you, cop, You're have, steering at this point. All right, we can steer. Let's steer to I mean, it. You're at those I don't know. Uh, so, like, yeah, the reject. Do you yeah. think that, like, 
I think you personally probably are, are good at, at like rejecting. I've rejected before, a hundred percent, because I'm just like, hey, I'm just gonna let you know what it is. Right. Well, and you also like are a no nonsense sort of dude when it comes to like dating and women and things like that. Like, yeah. You don't. Yeah. You don't. And guys. Beat around the bush. And guys. And guys. Yeah. You don't beat around the bush. You know. You like if someone like if you if you're like not happy with someone, you don't want them around like that. You you have no problem being like, I'm good. You know. So, but a lot of people can't do that. A lot of mine is in body language, too, and I just don't understand, like, there's certain times where people can't read the body language. Like, come on. I'm obviously not feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just read it. Do I have to tell you? Do I have to come out straight? I guess I do, and I have no problem doing that. Yeah, yeah. It's But I think a lot of people, um, well, especially, he said, especially guys, like, guys don't have the opportunity to reject. Not as ton. often. Definitely yeah. not as often. Yeah. Some guys never. You know what I mean? Like, if they don't get, I mean, like, if they're always the one pursuing never. women and women, not, never, never, Oof. but, like, not very often at all. Like, if they're always the one trying to look for a woman, but they don't ever have women coming to them, like, if a woman comes to them and they're even slightly attracted to them, they're going to be like, oh, let's, let's pursue this. Yeah. I don't, I don't you know what? Maybe. I, I don't know if, like, uh... Like our stories are indicative of everybody's story. No, I don't no. know what side of the bell curve we lie on. Yeah, but you got to think women are used to constantly rejecting men because men are constantly throwing themselves at women. Yeah, and women are not constantly throwing themselves at guys. I mean, even like very attractive. I'm sure very attractive men, like models, probably do have women throwing themselves. At I mean, them all the time. but I think about like you're from Ashtabula. You never had like some meth meth head hoochie like throw herself at you, and you'd be like, yeah, I'm good, lady. Oh, I, yeah, I guess, I guess, I, I guess so too. You have, I guess, like, oh yeah, not, was not, no, not like a meth was, head per se, but like, yeah, just yeah, you're. It just don't like, matter what drugs she was on. You're yeah, like, some, yeah, some, some like, yeah, like obviously like addicted. Some like, hey, cutie, how? And I'm like, oh my god. Ugh. I had a friend one time. I was out in Minnesota with a friend. Yeah. And uh, and one of his friends showed up. Um, and she was a female, mm-hmm. and she was being like super overtly like about like trying to get me to come back to her house. And I just like it was like, and I didn't even think she was probably that. Bad. It was like she was so like overtly aggressive about it that it like weirded me about, weirded me out. Where I was just like, um, she's like, so you coming over? And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like it just it freaked me out a little bit. See? So I get why women are so weirded out when guys come on so strong. Cause it's freaking weird when someone's like coming at you like that, like that hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. one thing to be like, "Hey, you're cute," you know, and like, but it's another to be like. And you and you think about it like you're dealing at a position of at least physically from a position of power. Right. Like yeah, if she came at me, I could yeah. probably have like yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not too concerned about her raping you, is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Here. Exactly. Like I was like kind of weirded out, but my thought didn't go to like, oh my god, what if she tries to like assault me? Mm-hmm. But like so, it, it, that particular day made me like be well more cognizant of like how like women can feel if, like this big old dude is like aggressively trying to like have sex with them they live in a dead world man they really do and we can't even fathom it because like it's so like foreign to us it, yeah it, it really is man because i've definitely met women who like are so afraid like they they it's like live in fear they just live in a constant fear of like men of women are bigger than them because they're tiny of like and then you got all the like universal fears like failure and yeah. rejection well, yeah yeah exactly. like not being successful or not yeah. having a good job and all, but you have to you have to be worried about like dudes like coming at you or like some girl kicking your ass cuz that happens too right yeah yeah it's, 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 yeah, it happens the same way. Yeah, where I'm, I'm, oh, I, uh, oh, it was halftime. Okay, where I'm not, I'm not as concerned about like some dude attacking me just for yeah, I don't know or something I say. Or some woman trying to like just knock you out from behind to like and drag yeah. you off somewhere. Yeah, but I, I guess I've been blessed with size <laughs> in more than yeah. one department. If you it, know um, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like it's it's crazy because well, and plus dudes are just like they have no cooth. It's like it's like the guys who like go online and just send D pics to anybody that like just boom 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 D pic D pic. It's like, why do you do that? <laughs> like I, like I would never take a picture of my penis and send it to someone that did not want it or ask for it or. Well, and even then, I don't know if I. You know, I'm like I'm not a big like take a picture of myself guy. 
I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, but like some dudes, like, it's just I'm like the first it. thing they do, they're like, hey, here's a picture okay. of my penis. It's like, what the F is in your brain? I was trying to think of a joke to go with that, and there's none, dude. Just yeah. don't do it. Just no. don't. Just don't. No, it's, it's just, bad. it's creepy and weird and. No woman has ever gone. So wow, that's a nice looking D. Let me talk to this dude. I want to. I want to go out with him now. All right. So look, Jonas. I have done it before. You've just sent a D pic without, without unsolicited one. Yeah. Yeah, but it was to a girl I was talking to. Yeah, it's different than like complete stranger. Like, oh no. Like you go online and just jump into someone's DMs and send them a D pic. No, no. It's one no. thing to. I mean, for that to send it to a girl you're talking to. Did that go well for you? Oh uh, yeah, I mean yeah. Okay, there you go. I got the draws, so I mean that's something. She was like, "Oh, <laughs> she was like, oh, that's what we're working with. Come on over." <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> and you know, I don't, I don't know. You never really know what a girl's into, man. That's the that's the yeah. main thing. But for the majority, like most girls I've ever talked to, like they don't want a random D pick. No, from especially from a dude that they're not like in, at least talking to. No, that like, it's is one true. thing if you're kind of talking and you do it. It's another if you just like just met him and you start sending out. I hate the double standard because if a girl sent me a picture of her genitalia, I'm gonna be like, all right, cool, thanks. Just add that to the collection, I guess. Toss that on the pile. Yeah, <laughs> toss that. Like you just have like this, you just have this like garbage bag full of. <laughs> bits of I mean, yeah, or a folder, <laughs> if you want, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but it's, I don't know, man. I feel bad for women sometimes with, like, all the stuff they have to put up. So I try to be, like, a good dude. I try to be a good yeah, dude. Yeah, man, I try not to be, like, a D-bag, you know? Like, we all have our faults, but, God, I try to, like, be at least cognizant that I'm not, like... They live in a different world, right, man. Right, dude. Like, I, I get but it. But yeah, on the same note, Jonas, man, the things that they have against them they have so many more positives oh absolutely and the same thing for us you know what i mean it's like yeah, yeah there's we, there's definitely some degree of balance though i will have to say is that being a man is great yeah there's definitely i mean it's definitely uh it's definitely a little lopsided towards men probably it's yeah. i mean it's getting better over yeah. the it, the farther it goes in history the better it gets but it's, it's yeah but it's like they have they have a lot of things against them. they do have some positive things it kind of it kind of makes me think because I am one of those like just deep scientific kind of thinkers and I'm always like I wonder where the genesis of this was it was like men and women men realized that they were stronger physically and that's great so right. automatically we're going to take over and back women, then that's all we had yeah and then women had to think of a place of where they could gain power from and over the years it's evolved into this they are the they run the relationships to a certain right, because like, back in the day, they like they like ran the house. Like when the husband was away, they deal the kids, they cook, clean, do all that stuff. Yeah, and then you know, and then it just, I mean, all that stuff just evolves but, as time goes yeah, on. Yeah, now it's to the point where like, you know, the relationships in jeopardy if the woman's mad, and you got to keep the woman happy. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's that we should just go out here and just start like caveman and these chicks and just hit them over the head with clubs and be like, look. <laughs> I'm yeah. stronger than you. you ain't, I don't care if you're happy or not. Wow. But <laughs> what's the really stopping from going there? I mean, that's essentially what it used to be back in those days. Right? Back like in, back in caveman type days, it D was like. Diplomacy, man. Yeah. Diplomacy uh, and equal rights, I guess. Yep. All what? right. want to jump real quick. What do you want to jump Compliments. To? Men getting compliments. We don't get them, Jonas. I don't want them either. You don't want them? It doesn't feel good if a, if a girl's like, that's a cute shirt. You don't like that? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I don't really... I don't know. You know, I feel like maybe it's that whole feeling of being, like, jaded to the point where, like, I haven't received them for so long that I'm just kind of like, well, why do I don't need them anymore. Well, we're also trash at recognizing them, too. We get so few that if we do get them and a girl, like, say, is interested and they do give us a compliment, a lot of times, like, girls don't compliment the same way guys do. Like they're not gonna be like, "Damn, you cute," you know what I mean? They don't. That they usually say something else. Like, you know what I mean? Like if I get if I do ever get compliments, it's usually like a girl will be like, "Oh hey, I like your shirt," things like that. And it's like it's not so much like. Uh, I feel like it's even more like it's more like in depth in their mind than that. Like just the way they talk to you is a compliment to them. 
Right, and but we can't like decipher. Yeah, like if you're talking like surface compliments, yes, yeah, he might compliment you on your clothes, but I feel like a girl shows interest in like inflection in her voice and subject matter of the conversation and just like willingness to share. And most men can't that yeah. can't yeah. Put I just that I just want to show you my penis. Can I just <laughs> <laughs> Can we just get down to like here? Yeah, it is. like I uh, it, well, and I think that's why like so many men assume they never are getting hit on, and like they probably are. Yeah, it's like a I, possibility. I can admit, like I was like completely like if you're not blatantly like touching me or like telling me something, like I'm like yeah. to me because like I've been wrong so many times. Yeah. Like you're like I think this girl's into me, and then you like try to make a move, and they're like, "Where did you get that from?" I'm like. I guess nowhere. <laughs> See, and that's what makes it hard dealing with women, man, because they they're speaking this emotional and just like on this intellectual level where everything is like implied or subliminal. I don't know what the hell you're trying to tell me, woman. So now, now I gotta jump out on the ledge. I gotta go over here and be like, "Hey, you want to go get dinner or something?" I don't know if you're feeling me. I mean, I guess if she says yes. You're like, okay, that's a possibility she likes me, or maybe she's just like, I don't want to let this guy down. Right, because, uh, yeah, I know girls that have said they, they'll, like, if people ask them out, they'll go on a date just it's, because they were like, why not go and have dinner? <laughs> Yo, I'm just going to start handing these girls, like, an application. <laughs> I am. Are you interested? Yeah. First yes box, no. yes, no, maybe. Yeah. If not, you don't need to continue. <laughs> Hand it back to your preceptor and continue on with your day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, do you are you interested? Yes. All right. Next block. Uh, d- d- are you crazy? <laughs> Please let me know because I'm not interested. Thank you. You can hand the letter back to your the application back to your Jesus. preceptor. I, well, I don't, you don't want a crazy girl, right? <laughs> if if a girl handed you this application, you're gonna be ch- yeah. I'm interested. Are you crazy? No. <laughs> Easy. easy. It should be just as easy for them. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Third question. STD status and children. Because technically they're the same thing to me. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. What? The truth comes out. They're both sexually transmitted. <laughs> what? <Well>, transmitted? <laughs> Jesus. We are. I guess that's true. <laughs> In a technicality sort of way. Jesus. God. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I guess yeah, so, yeah. This is what I feel like needs to happen. So, sexually transmitted diseases slash children. That's the next question. What goes on your application to women, Jonas? Uh, are you nice? <laughs> Number, number one, are you nice? Are you nice? <laughs> Who cares if they're nice if they're not interested? I don't want to know your information about how much of an altruistic person you are. Wow, well, I didn't care if you right help out there. at the freaking frickin homeless clinic. Are you going to touch my penis? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. All right, on that note, <laughs> touch it. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you have not. Uh, please do. And make us happy. Make TNT happy. Yeah. For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Until the next one week. All right.